This is an updated video. The building codes haven't really changed on dimensional uniformity for risers or treads where you have a maximum of 3 eighths of an inch per flight of stairs total. And I've already made quite a few of these videos. Feel free to watch some of the other ones because I'm making this video because one of our viewers is having a difficult time with some of my older videos. So let's see if I can simplify it here. So here we have a stairway with the exact same dimension for each riser. And of course this one here would be approved. This stairway has some different riser heights. Now what you need to do is find the smallest riser and that's going to be six and three quarter inches then we're going to find the tallest riser which is seven and a quarter inches this flight of stairs will not pass the three eighths maximum per flight of stairs because we have a half inch difference between the shortest and the tallest riser in a flight of stairs. Don't forget a flight of stairs would be a stair that goes from one level to another level. So for example, a stairway that has a landing will usually have two separate flights of stairs. So this one here is not gonna cut it. And of course this one here isn't going to cut it. Seven and a half tallest, seven inches smallest. And I wanna point out, even though I haven't found the building codes, I noticed that artificial intelligence is that you have a maximum difference of 3 sixteenths of an inch or a quarter inch between a single step. And if that's the case, this one here is not going to work either way. But for example, if I had one 7 and 3 eighths inch riser in the stairway and I needed to have a maximum of 7 and a quarter inches between one step, in that flight of stairs where the rest of the risers are seven inches probably won't be approved. So even though you would fall into the three eighths maximum per flight of stairs, the individual step building code will be a problem. But I have not came across that building code yet. I just found it while searching the internet using artificial intelligence. And in our last example, where is the smallest one? What do we have? Six and seven eighths. Tallest riser is seven and an eighth, giving us a maximum variation of a quarter of an inch in that flight of stairs. And of course this could be a problem if you're dealing with a maximum between one step where we have one riser that couldn't be over three sixteenths of an inch. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.